Pancakes and hamburgers are back on the menu at this little corner of the US in the heart of the French capital. Relief for owner Craig after a long wait. In the beginning, people only in the neighborhood would come. People were still afraid to venture out and take the metro. Now, people are coming from across town to see us because when they heard that we're open. So you see slowly that kind of thing happening. Since 2003, Craig's run two Paris restaurants based on a simple formula, American breakfasts all day long. When France locked down in March, he thought about returning to the States, but ended up staying with his husband and business partner, Julien. The danger was, would I be able to get back? When? Because we have a business. And would I be able to get my husband through as a spouse? We said, no, we're going to stay here. We got the business we have to make sure about, but more importantly, is our health, right? So we didn't go. With the French confined to their homes, Craig was struck by the different conditions for his loved ones across the Atlantic. I was just amazed at how my family and friends just were taking it so lightly and not worried at all. And I said, I don't want to be like the, you know, the sky is falling with you all, but this is, you got to take this very, very seriously. Craig says the US's handling of the pandemic has been a disaster. Now he's following anti-racism protests with interest and solidarity. It's kind of ironic because in some ways the demonstrations have given me hope because I see the people coming together. Maybe now, finally, we'll get past this you know, tribal mentality or whatever of, of, of us against them and all this. And, and that goes hand in hand with the pandemic, right? Because uh, we need to be reunited on this. He may have one eye on America, but Craig's focus now is on getting his French business up and running again. One of his restaurants remains closed after a lockdown which cost him 400,000 euros in takings.